How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring along with me to talk about what I would want from the Sony a7 IV coming from an a7 III user. So let's jump right into it. So now I've had my Sony a7 III since I think November 2019 and I've had a really great run with this camera and I really love it. It's helped me grow my just skills overall going out to create all these YouTube videos and client work and just really having fun with it. But as my skills kept growing and all the new cameras kept coming out, like the new Sony a7S III, it kind of got me wondering what I would want from the a7 IV, the camera coming after this one, that's supposed to be released sometime this year. There is just rumors and speculations going on about it, but something that I would wish as a consumer from the camera, I'm just going to give you a little bit more of my wish list that this camera could have. Now I know I can't have everything that I would want it to have because it's not supposed to basically overpowered the Sony a7S III that has 4K 120, the 10-bit uh, internal 422 and everything like that. So I totally understand and I'm being realistic, but I'm also looking back at what the Sony a7S II had to offer in comparison to the a7 III. Basically what I've been kind of researching a little bit about is just noticing that the Sony a7S II had about the same I guess specs as the Sony a7 III, minus like the beast horse of the low light and all that stuff, which is totally understandable since it is a lower megapixel camera. Now coming with the a7 III, it was a good hybrid camera when it came down for photography and videography, that it was a perfect choice for me to upgrade when I was upgrading from my a6000 and going into the full frame lineup. Now that I've had this camera for quite a while now and my skills have been kind of developing more and everything like that, I feel like for an upgrade, I have to decide if I'm going to go into the lines of the A7S III lines, the uh, Sony FX3, if I want to become more, I guess, video oriented only, or if I want to try to get a good hybrid camera that could be replacing my Sony A7 III. I currently obviously have my Sony A7R III as well that I use mainly for more for the photography side of everything, which currently I'm obviously using it for video, which is still a great video camera. I think obviously the a7 III is a little bit better in my opinion just because of the lower megapixels it's a little bit better with low light but to have to upgrade this camera Sony really has to kind of get everything right with the a7 IV if it's going to go basically to that one instead of the a7s III. In my opinion the Sony a7s III is a phenomenal camera it's just the budget for that is a little bit crazy because the camera alone is 3500 but then if you want to get the memory cards it's probably going to be about like $800 or so because each uh, memory cards like 400 bucks give or take if you want to get the faster ones and then also you have to get the converter to be able to read those and it's a never-ending little list of add-ons that as great as they are I also don't want to be spending about give or take five thousand dollars for a new camera setup just to upgrade into the 4k and everything like that for the slow motion and the 10-bit internal now with that said I do understand it is a worth basically camera but for the stage in my life I don't think I'm there for that camera just yet for investment purposes like I know that my skills can use that camera for what I know how to do and use it for but it also is a very big chunk of change when most of my income isn't always client work with photography and videography since I do have a tennis academy that I have to have a lot of attention to so I can only knit pick and choose what I want to work with and also do this channel. So for example, with the Sony a7 IV, I'm hoping that because the rumors are that it's supposed to be 4K 60, the maximum or whatever for the 4K department, I don't really see why they wouldn't just have 4K 120. A lot of people kind of go with the assumption that it's going to take away from the Sony a7S III, but in my opinion, it really isn't. Camera and technologies and everything has been coming at us a lot of faster rate with having even some cameras with 8K already and just the speed of technology is going faster that I would expect for Sony to really bring a better kind of camera that that's really gonna surpass this camera because this one's been like I think like the most sold mirrorless camera or something like that especially for Sony because it's like good mid-range kind of entry-level full-frame mirrorless camera that really does everything so for the a7 IV to really succeed in my eyes I think they still are gonna have to provide the 4k 120 because this one provides 1080 120 frames per second and the slow motion a lot of people tend to love that I know 4k 60 would be phenomenal I would probably use it more than the uh, the 1080 120 but 
I don't see why they can't just do it since the Sony a7S II to the a7 III kind of have really similar specs from last I checked and it just would make sense for them to kind of have as much of the a7S III configurations without taking away from the camera. Obviously it shouldn't perform the same way because it's not going to be priced the same whatsoever but I would expect them to at least provide like 4K 120 with 420 bit color kind of style with still 10 bit or something but not as high end as obviously the the A7S 3 Now when it comes to obviously color depth it better have 10 bit internal because I mean this one doesn't so I don't get why they wouldn't so I'm hoping as this is a consumer for color grading purposes that they would have at least 10 bit internal 422 all throughout no matter if you're shooting 1080p or whatever I don't even know if that's allowed or whatever but obviously you get what I'm trying to say it's just despite of it not being a higher end like the Sony a7S III, I would hope that this camera would have a good color depth and just 4K all around with everything. Even if it's not as high quality, for lack of a better scientific term, with the, the slow motion compared to the Sony a7S III. It probably won't be as great low light as the Sony a7S III, which it shouldn't either because it's not supposed to be a just video camera. But I do think that they have the technology now to really implement a higher up of specs with these cameras with the budget that itself will have. I don't think this camera should be obviously more than 2500 but if it has 4k 120 and all that stuff with a 10-bit internal i mean 2500 wouldn't be a bad choice because i mean this camera has been two thousand dollars since it basically came out sometimes it has the discounts and everything like that but even then it's still in the higher range of like the 17 to two thousand dollar mark so with that said i think that the sony a7 IV really needs to kind of checklist a lot of things for it to be a greater successor for this camera. Because Canon, I'm sure, is gonna be coming out with something that's gonna be closer to the range of it. I mean, the, the, the R6, I believe, has 4K 60, which a lot of people rave about and is phenomenal and everything like that, but I think Sony wants to not just put the same thing that somebody else already put out, but they're gonna to wanna to kinda, of obviously throw throw a little fire there and uh kind of you know bring their a game to compete with canon and everything like that because they don't want to fall behind in the market share they want to keep growing so i think for them to really go into the spectrum of putting more into specs that you wouldn't have thought of i think would be great the megapixel count i really don't care i mean it said 24 some people are saying like it could be 30 35 or something I have my Sony A7R3 when it comes down to megapixels. I mean, I, it has 42, 30 is fine, 24 is great. I mean, you don't need more than 24 in my opinion, really. The, the extra megapixel is nice if you need to crop in. That's why I really wanted the Sony A7R3 because I like to have that extra room, especially with social media, since you have to kind of do a four by five kind of style. Um, you have to compress whatever. If you need to just scoot back a little bit, but still get everything you want to, you can crop in and be fine, you know? So that's one of the main reasons, but with the Sony 7 IV, they don't have to reinvent the wheel. I mean, they really can just kind of keep it where they can just, I don't know, keep it at 24 to 30 at maximum and be fine. Because you also want it to be a good low light capability camera to compete with the a7 III since it's a pretty great low light capability camera for the price point, even comparing it to other bigger cameras. So there's a lot that this camera needs to kind of like bring to the table for people to be really happy with the a7 IV. Cause this is gonna be something that I think Sony's gonna have to realize that they're gonna have to put something out that is either gonna make the consumers want to really stay or they're gonna have to start choosing to see what can provide them for the price range. Cause you have a lot of cameras that, that provide 10 bit internal and for less than $2,000. So they're gonna have to realize that 10 bit is not just gonna keep somebody around. They're gonna have to provide better frame rates and everything like that with 4K. They're gonna provide better like low light capabilities and everything like that. So I think they're gonna have to really bring it to the table. And as a consumer and obviously really love Sony for everything that they do. I've had them for years now. I really hope that upgrading my a7 III will make sense to an a7 IV if it checks the right list. If not, I'm gonna have to wait longer until I can get the a7S III and it makes sense for my businesses to use that budget basically for that camera to then keep growing obviously myself. So I'm hoping that Sony will bring their A++ 
a game when it comes down to it because my final spec sheet or wish list or whatever you want to call it, it i mean for me megapixels 24 to 30 is fine that's perfectly more than capable that's what i have with this on 24 i got 42 over there but i really do want to have 4k all throughout whether it's 4k um obviously 24 30 60 and 120 and if it's 10 bin 422 up to 60 and then the the 120 is just 420 that's okay with me as long as we get the 4k to have a little bit just better slow motion in that end because the slow motion in this camera is great but the the file itself being 1080 sometimes it kind of falls apart a little bit when you try to color grade too much not even too much just quite a, a little bit that's one thing that i'm hoping that they can kind of bring around to it and obviously the battery life has can stay the same because they're doing that with that and i guess I'm not really caring for the flip out screen. I mean, I know the flip up screen is great for me and then the flip out screen could be fine, but I know most people would probably want that. So I'm sure they're gonna bring that out and I'm okay with that because it'll make like vlogging and everything easier when it comes on to making these videos as well. So I'm all right with that and it makes it easier for lower angle kind of, I don't know, photos. Cause this one, uh, if you're getting low, uh, you're gonna have to like, you can't, can't really flip it up. So you're gonna have to like really get down low onto the ground. So that's basically it, but. That's kind of like, kind of it that I would hope as uh, the Sony a7 IV comes out or more rumors come out, they kind of get a little bit better. But I'm hoping that it'll just be something that everybody didn't really get right and it's even better than we thought. I know Sony has the availability to do it with all the technology they've been coming out with the Sony a7S III, FX3, A1, and all those cameras. So hopefully they can surprise us. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.